And forensic scientists say they've discovered the remains of Miguel de Cervantes, the Don Quixote author, was buried nearly 400 years ago in 1616, but his coffin was later lost when a convent in Madrid was rebuilt. Joining me now from Madrid is our correspondent, Phil Minchel. Phil, what more can you tell us about this discovery? Well, scientists in Madrid have known roughly the whereabouts of Cervantes' remains for a number of years. As you rightly say, when he was buried in this convent in the centre of Madrid back in 1616, it was well known where he was. And then the convent was moved slightly. His remains were transferred at the end of the 18th century. But it's still been well documented where he's been. But they haven't been able to access them until recent years, just simply because of the lack of technology and the lack of exactly knowing where he's been. And nowadays, of course, we've got radar technology, 3D technology, sonar technology. And in recent years, they've been able to start actually probing the convent and the chapel around it to actually find out where he is. And they finally have come out and sort of said, well, we know where the remains are. And this is actually a hugely historic and significant event because, of course, Cervantes is, in many respects, the father of the modern novel. Uh, in his famous novel, to give it his shortened title, Don Quixote or El Quixote in Spain, really spurred on generations of novelists in the 17th and 18th century to follow in his footsteps. At the moment, the scientists are saying, well, we're still waiting for DNA tests on these very slight remains, but it's looking very, very likely that finally they found some of Cervantes, who has been buried with his wife and other members of his family. All right, thank you very much, Phil. Phil Minchel reporting from Madrid. And that's where